Hey everyone. Yep. It's another pumpkin. I don't know if you guys are getting tired of the pumpkin crafts, but I still have a couple more that I want to share with you yet this year. And this one, we are going to be making a cat, a black cat. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the whole thing black and I'm just going to use acrylic paint. The kitty cat is coming along. I have two coats of the black paint on here, the black acrylic paint. And the next thing I'm going to do is I have some scraps of the black um, craft foam and we are going to make ears and we are going to make a tail. And all I am going to do is draw a triangle like this, take my scissors, cut it out, and then I'm going to do use that to as a guide to trace to make the other ear so they're the same. Once you have the ears cut, then all we're going to do is put it on here. But first I'm going to take a little bit of pink paint just to put it in here for an accent. Then I have this other scrap piece and we're going to turn this into the tail. And all I'm going to do is kind of freehand a long and curvy tail. Cut it out. Now I'm going to be doing hot glue on this and again if you are putting this out in the elements I would suggest not doing hot glue. I'm going to run this along here, pop it on, kind of hold it and then I'm going to just take a little glitter to cover any hot glue that might be showing. So there are the ears and then I'm going to do the very same with the tail. You can go as cute as you want with this. You can leave it all black. You could um, do polka dots on it, stripes on them, anything to dress them up if you want to. I am just going to take some white glue and run it along the edges of the ears and throw a little more glitter on there just to kind of dress up the edges of the ears and I'll do the same with the tail. Now I am just going to make round eyes for the cat just because I want her, him or her to be kind of cuter. And that a scary cat. I did the nose as a triangle and then I'm just going to drag it down, give him a little smile. I'll let that first coat dry and then I will come back and clean it all up. So here is the cat so far. I have done the eyes. I've glittered around the ears. My table's had a bit of a glitter explosion. I've done the mouth and the nose. Now what I want to do is the eyes. And I'm going to use some green. I'm going to dip the end of my brush into the green paint and carefully go right onto the eye. And then we will let that dry. And then I'm gonna work on some whiskers. What I'm gonna use for the whiskers is the white foam craft foam. And all I'm gonna do is cut some very thin strips for the whiskers. I need probably about six of them. And then I am just going to take a little dab of hot glue add a whisker The cat pumpkin is finished, and I don't know if you can see it, this tail's pretty floppy, so I had glued on a black popsicle stick and painted it black. So now it sits nice and firm. Here's the front of it. The ears are attached. I trimmed that with the glitter. I did some stripes and glitter on the tail. I painted the nose and the mouth, the eyes, and then I just did some glue 
for the eyebrows and threw some black glitter on there and I did the same around the eye the eyes and then I added the whiskers which was the white foam sheets craft foam sheets so that's it I hope you like it I hope you give it a try I would love to know what kind of pumpkins you're making this year and I would even love a picture so if you post that on my Facebook page I can hopefully share that with everyone as well and or you can email it to me at craftclouch at gmail.com and we will see you next time um, leave comments below to let me know what you're planning on doing um, decoration wise for Halloween and we'll see you next time thanks again for watching stop by my website at www.craftclouch.com to see the directions for this and all of my other crafts and thanks guys we'll see you next time happy crafting